everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to be doing an acrylic swipe on it, but I am going to be using house paint as my base. And my base coat is Lucite um, semi-gloss wall paint. And I mixed four cups of, of that wall paint with a quarter cup of GAC 800. And let's go over the balance of my paints. My next color is Blick, a combination of the Blick Metallic Magenta and Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. My next color is Arteza Premium Prussian Blue. My next color is a mica powder from J Diction called Pearl Gold. And my last color is from Folk Art. It's their Color Shift line, and it's the Aqua Flash Turquoise Brilliant. And my swipe color today is going to be Artist, or excuse me, it's uh, Amsterdam Greenish Blue. And um, I did mix that one part of paint to three parts of the Australian Floetrol. And again, that's my swipe color. Now my paints... The pouring medium for my paints were two parts of the Deep Base Sea Bear paint, um, untinted base, and one part of polycrylic from Minwax. And I just put a dab of the um, paint in my little cups, and then I would say it, the ratio was about uh, three to one with the pouring medium to paint. You can see that consistency there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to put down my base coat. I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, we're back. And I have put my base coat down of the, uh, the house paint. And here I am just laying my colors down to do the swipe. That first color was the magenta, and the second color is that mica powder from J. Dixon. I will, I will list all the colors I used in the description, so check there. And here is that aqua flash by Folk Art. I have sped this part of the video up, and I'm doing a voiceover. And this is that Arteza Prussian Blue, beautiful color. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. And if you'd like to see me do a certain pour, also let me know. Here I'm just showing you, I'm using these little, um, these little swipe cards that I purchased from Tracy Reed Designs. That's Tracy, T-R-A-C-I-E, Reed, R-E-E-D, Designs. Um, she does have an Etsy shop. I will list her name also in the description. These are nice because you can reuse them. Just uh, wash them off and reuse them. Come in different widths. And I am liking the results I'm getting here. And I'm just trying all of these little cards out. Putting the uh, cell activator on the back of the card. Wiping it off. And as you see, I, I'm dabbing that little card on um, the edge of my canvas just to add some color to it. Oh, 
Also, I got my inspiration for this type um, of pour from Jelly Cube. That's G-I-L-L-Y. Cube is K-U-B-E. So if you get a chance, also check out her channel. She did a swipe similar to this. I don't think she uh, did the swipe all the way down though. And here I'm just adding my cell activator to the house paint at the top there. I, I, I wanted it to be a little bit more plain at this point in the painting. That Amsterdam bluish green is really a pretty color to use as a swipe color. Just wanted to give it a little bit of effect here. Now I am giving it a quick torch. I know a lot of artists do not like to torch house paint. I do it very quick and I have seen quite a few artists uh, torch their house paint if you do it very fast. You do not want to scorch it though, so you have to be very careful. Just doing a little tip ring to incorporate the, the paint there. Just running my finger along the edge and the corners there to cover it with paint. And now I decide I'm going to do some blooms here. I'm going to add some bloom flowers with my remaining paint. And I decided instead of going with just three blooms, I'm going to go for four here because I thought there was room. Just putting plenty of paint down for each of those blooms. And popping some of the bigger bubbles there. And now I'm going to add my cell activator to the uh, middle of each of these blooms. And what I do is I do blow, blow them out off camera. And here we are back. I've blown out these blooms and now I'm trying to make them look more like flowers with giving them petals. I watch various artists and a lot of them are doing blooms. Just adding a little points on those uh, little petals there. At this point, I, I looked at the whole uh, painting and decided that it needed a little something extra. So here I am wrecking it with that skewer, just running lines through it, doing some swirls in there, just to give it some added um, effect and added interest. And you will see that effect when I take you down later for the, 
for the close-up. And here I am doing some balloon kisses. And there is water in that balloon. And then you'll see that I do add a stem here and there as I'm doing those little balloon kisses. I'm either adding a stem or fixing the, the center part of each flower. Balloon kisses are a lot of fun to do. Again, I do have this sped up a little bit. I'm just doing a little bit of tipping here. See what I can do with the composition. And I am putting it uh, the way I think that it would hang on the wall. Here I decide that I don't like these flowers just looking so big and bulky like this at the top. So I am going to use my, my balloon there and just make balloon kisses and see what kind of effect I can get. And you'll see that on some of them, I do the balloon kiss and then I make a little flower more at the top, just drawing up a little bit more color there. And I am pretty happy I did this. Again, either fixing the center or drawing a stem. These look like, when I get finished, I think this looks more like bouquets of flowers or groups of flowers together. Normally, I try and clean the balloon off between each dip, but sometimes I do like to uh, carry the paint to a different area that looks a little bit plain, just to add a little more color. And I am trying to make that transition line there from where the big flowers were down to the bottom part by using the balloon kisses. Okay, we're gonna get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up and I am showing you the whole painting here. And I'm really glad that I did take my um, balloon and went over these flowers at the top. I think that they turned out so pretty, just giving them so much more character beautiful in there just going down the left hand side here again this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas really a lot of nice effects in this painting that's from using the cell activator the house paint so pretty in there very pretty in there well you can just see all these little balloon kisses that I made here and we'll go over to the bottom right corner here and go up the right hand side and I kind of wrecked it first before I did those balloon kisses And this is the upper right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video.
Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.